Hi, I'm Timo from the Hamburg Bitbots RoboCup team from Germany. In the next few minutes we are going to present our team and our main research interests. The Hamburg Bitbots were founded in 2012 and have since then participated in all World Championships, six German Opens and five Iran Opens. Like many teams, we started using the Darwin robot, however the Darwin was very limited. Therefore we decided to develop a new robot research platform using only 3D printed mechanical parts, the Hambot. At the same time we developed another robot platform, the Minibot, which mainly used aluminum parts. In 2018 we started to replace our Minibots with robots built by the team WF Wolves, based on the Nimbro open platform. We improved these robots made of carbon fiber and aluminum with many 3D printed parts to combine the strengths of these techniques. We have about 20 active team members, which are bachelor, master and PhD students. We will now briefly introduce ourselves. I am Timon Engelke, the current team leader of the Hamburg Bitbots. Hi, I am Mark Bestmann and I am working on reinforcement learning for motions. My name is Jonas Hagge. I am currently a master student and I mainly work on using neural networks for our computer vision. I am Sebastian Stelter, I am also a master student and my research mainly focuses around robot hardware and motion. I'm Florian Fahl, a bachelor student, and my research mainly focuses on computer vision and localization. Hi, I'm Finn, and I focus on our software infrastructure, which means things like networking or build tools. We also frequently interact with other institutions. For example, we participate in fairs like the ITCS Hamburg or the Knowledge Night, where we show our robots to the public. Our university department also offers high school students the chance to get a first look into how universities work. During these events, we provide the teenagers with simple robots and let them program these to detect a ball and kick it into the goal. We also participate in the ROHO, the Robot Hamburg Open Workshop, an international RoboCup workshop where many teams from humanoid and SPL leagues can share their knowledge and get in touch with each other. We have also participated in competitions outside of the RoboCup. For example, this year we took part in the Running Robot competition, where we managed to achieve the third place in the competition held in China this year. As we explained earlier, our robots were initially built by the WF Wolves. Due to having the same hardware, we got the chance to also both share our software stacks and collaboratively work on it to share knowledge and research. Now we are going to present the main hardware and software of these robots that we call Wolfgang Platform. The robot uses the Dynamixel servos that are very popular in the Humanoid League. We use the MX64, MX106 and the new XH540. For computation, we use an Intel NUC, an Odroid, and an Intel Neural Compute Stick. Our camera is an industrial-grade camera by Basler, with global shutter. Many of our robot's parts are 3D printed, allowing rapid prototyping and simple manufacturing. In our knees, we use torsion springs to reduce the load on these joints. Our head and shoulders use 3D printed elastic elements, which allow movement of the joint on impact to avoid damaging the motor's gearbox. In our feet, we installed foot pressure sensors, on which we also presented a paper at RoboCup 2019. However, a robot does not only consist of its hardware parts, so we also want to introduce you to the software side of our robots. Our software relies on a modular ROS architecture that consists of concurrent nodes communicating with asynchronous messages. Our robots have the ability to reliably track the board across the whole field, which you can see here. Our vision can also detect the goalposts, robots, lines and the field boundary. We can even identify a robot's team. To use the detections, we first have to get to the ball position. Our approach to walking is based on Quintix blinds to calculate smooth and easily adaptable walking motions. As you probably guessed, something will still inevitably go wrong and the robots fall. To prevent damage to our hardware, we detect faults with a classifier. If we detect one, we immediately move our arms into a safe position to prevent damage. After we have fallen, we have to get up again. Instead of having a static animation for this motion, we also use Quintix blinds to improve the smoothness of the motion and improve adaptability. A stabilizing PID controller is applied to counteract any unexpected forces during the stand-up motion. To know where to kick the ball, even if we do not currently see the goalposts, we have to localize ourselves in the field. To achieve this, we utilize a particle filter. Here you can see many arrows, each representing one guess where the robot might currently be located. Each year, the RoboCup also hosts the technical challenges, including the push recovery. The goal here is to walk in the same spot while weight is accelerated towards the robot. The robot should ideally not fall over, but just continue to walk and balance out the force that is applied to it. 
you can see that our walking managed to comfortably withstand the weights. We do research in multiple fields related to robotics, but for this short presentation we want to focus on our research in computer vision. We started very early with our research into using neural networks. We presented ball localization for Robocop soccer using convolutional neural networks and the Robocop 2016. To the best of our knowledge, it was the first paper that successfully used neural networks in the Robocop soccer context. This paper even won a Best Paper Award and has so far been cited 47 times. Of course, we did not stop our research into neural networks and soon after presented towards real-time ball localization using CNNs. In this paper, we showed significant improvements to our original architecture. In Denoise Scan, denoising images to improve Robocop soccer ball detection, we have tried to combat problems that occur due to the robot moving, such as motion blur. To prevent cases where the robot forgets the position of the ball because visual contact is lost, we developed a particle filter-based approach to more reliably track objects. Its input is the heat map outputted by, for example, a neural network, instead of singular position information. This work is described in Position Estimation on Image-Based Heat Map Input Using Particle Filters in Cartesian Space. At the Robocop 2019 Symposium, we presented an open-source vision pipeline approach for Robocop Humanoid Soccer, which is able to detect the ball, the field boundary, lines, the goalposts, the robots, and the corresponding teams. We invite other teams to either use the complete vision and improve upon it, or to use one of the modular parts to improve the vision system with it. At the Robocop 2018 Symposium, we presented the Image Tagger, an open-source online platform for collaborative image labeling. As labeling images is a tedious but crucial task for supervised learning and object detection, the image tagger facilitates uploading, labeling, and sharing images. Furthermore, the image tagger offers the option to upload annotations. These can be created autonomously by existing neural network architectures. The annotations can quickly and easily be verified by humans and can be used to train the neural network again to improve the performance with minimal human effort. The labels that are supported include bounding boxes, polygons, lines and points. The image tagger is used by several other Robocop teams, both in humanoid and SPL leagues, and was also used to label and provide the image sets for this very competition. Our publicly hosted instance currently holds more than 600,000 images, of which 320,000 are publicly available. More than 230,000 ball labels, 150,000 robot labels and 60,000 goalpost labels have been created. We invite the other teams to use the computer vision algorithms they have developed for the Brazil Open Vision Challenge to generate labels for the image sets and upload these to our platform. As these annotations can quickly be verified by humans, the results of this competition may be used by all teams in the future. The image tagger has been used in many contexts outside of our own team and this competition. Other teams in the Humanoid Soccer League have also used the image tagger. For example, the Nimbro team from the adult-sized Humanoid Soccer League have used images and labels from the image tagger. In the SPL, the data of the image tagger has been used for research about object detection, such as the JetNet. The image tagger has been mentioned in the official roadmap of the Humanoid League as a tool in which multiple teams collaborate to create a common dataset. Outside of the Robocop context, the image tagger has also been used. Mazal et al. have built an extended version upon the capabilities of the image tagger. Their tool exact can be used for multiple purposes, but the one they present is for labeling medical image data. The annotation here is of a canine skin tumor image. To the best of our knowledge, the image tag has also been used non-publicly in the industry for computer vision research. Thank you for watching our video. If you want to find out more, feel free to check out our website or our GitHub page.